Hello, SCFT, Reverend Brianna Lynn here, and we are in round one, module two, week four, so 1.2.4, and this is on orc toning and tuning forks. So for this module, you have the option to use your voice or you have the option to use a couple of tools. You do not have to buy these tools, but if you are deep into the sound healing and this is a module that you feel that you know that you want to integrate more into your sacred circle facilitators training, I highly suggest you get two types of tuning forks. I'm gonna include the links when I upload this growth work as well when I upload this love lecture. Um, tuning forks, are traditionally used to tune instruments. So each one of these forks has a note. So this is a C, this is a 256C, and this is a 348G. That's the hertz at which it vibrates. The hertz is how quickly the sound waves are moving. The quicker they move, the higher the sound. The slower they move, the lower the sound. So it's good to know that when we're talking about sound healing, what is sound healing? Well, we've dove into it a little bit, but sound healing is using the intention behind our voice and different tones in order to radiate a frequency into someone's emotional body, mental body, physical body, astral body. So the lower tones, those bass tones of For me, that definitely hits more in the pelvic bowl in the root. And the higher tones of I'm feeling more in the heart, in the throat. And then when we get into For me, that's more of the crown, maybe the third eye in the crown. So this week we're going to be exploring auric toning. Now, what is auric toning? For me and for what we've developed in SCFT, auric toning is going through your chakras and really running the sound through all of them. So the crown, the forehead or the third eye, the throat, the heart, the solar plex, the pelvis, and then the root where your body meets the legs and down into the legs. So you're going to create a tone for each one of these centers. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven centers. You're going to be running your toning through them every single day and feeling into what the sound is. Now, I'm not attached that this needs to be the high notes and your roots need to be the low notes. That's what's resonated for me. That's also what I've learned in my sound healing training. But for you, this is really about exploring what is the toning that's gonna work for you. And this is auric toning. So we're penetrating within the body and then we're also radiating the sound out. So I'm gonna go through my whole chakra toning with you, my auric toning with all of you. Um, this is one type of tuning fork that you can utilize during this time to help you with the tone. So these traditional tuning forks are great for if you just wanna work on your scales and using that same note to go up and down the scales. Now, I'm, I'm hitting these two tuning forks together. Um, you shouldn't really do that, <laughs> not to shit on you, but it can cause little nicks in the side. I usually have a, um, a knee beater that you can just send them in, but I'm putting them together because that's what I do in ceremony because I don't always have my knee beater and also because you can hear the sound a lot more here on the recording. So this is the traditional tuning forks. The other type of tuning fork, which I'm also gonna send you a link to, are muted tuning forks. That just means you can't hear the sound, but you can still hear the vibration. I'll put it close to the speaker there so you can hear it. And it takes the sound and rotates it back into the tuning fork to come out this point. And it becomes like an acupuncture needle. It's very exciting. So I like to do the tuning forks as I'm sounding as part of my auric clearing. Ooh. Yes. So I'll send you the link to my favorite one of these. This one actually is not my favorite set, um, but I'll send you the link to my favorite set 
of these tuning forks. And it's good to have one powerful tuning fork. You can get hundreds of them and you can study something called acutonics, which is the study of the meridian points and where these sound frequencies best go with what points and best go with what um, ailments. It's a beautiful deep study. My uh, second or third, I guess I'll call my second, uh, Aya medicine teacher, Dr. John, taught and trained in acutonics and I took a workshop with him and it was really beautiful um, but I knew I didn't want to dive so deep into it I just wanted to learn how to use this intuitively so if you decide that you don't want to get the tuning forks that's absolutely okay you do not have to buy them I highly suggest it they're quite fun to play with and it can help with your auric toning you can also just clear uh, ground heal connect with just the auric toning so I'm gonna do a full auric toning with you guys now utilizing my favorite tuning fork which is 272 Hertz um, no this isn't my favorite tuning fork it's the same color as my favorite tuning fork my favorite tuning fork is this one, the 210 hertz. <laughs> I knew that was the right. I'm gonna let you see this process a little bit. So as always going inside, setting an intention, and putting my attention on radiating love, centering in my own purpose, sloughing off, disconnecting from any distraction and really returning to the radiant celebration of this creation of life. May we all be in recreation together, recreation together. Sending this for myself, for all beings, for you and for all beings. Hey.
to King of Ubuntu. May all beings in all places be happy and free. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So a few things to note about the auric toning. First of all, thank you for being with me in that. Allow your focus to go to the place first before the sound begins. Allow the sound to emerge from the connection with this part in your body. Number one. Number two, you'll notice I did a full auric clearing afterwards. That's optional. I like to go through each one of my chakras. I personally go from the base to the crown and then I clear my whole auric field. I said that right at 11.11 on this video. <laughs> so perfect. So you can choose how you would like it. Sometimes it's starting with the heart. Sometimes it's starting with the, the solar plexus. Sometimes it's starting with the crown. Allow yourself to intuitively feel where it wants to go. Start with the intention and the prayer and then go into the auric toning. You'll notice I didn't use the same even uh, key or sound, right? I went from E to O to U to A. Ah. Allow yourself to play. We've been practicing these sounds now for a few weeks, so this is your opportunity to integrate them and almost make it like a song, right? So the growth work will be to answer the questions that I have included about sound here, and it will also be to share a video about your auric clearing process about your auric toning process. Now, I would highly uh, invite you all to practice this every day, right? So this growth work doesn't just happen from you watching this video and doesn't just happen from you posting the video on Monday at 5.55 p.m. Pacific time. This really happens from you practicing every day. And my commitment is to practice this every day. I've been practicing my drumming and now I'm going to practice my auric toning. So to really be in this every day is how you're going to develop the muscle to know what this is. And so when the second round comes, you'll be able to share it as well. So please practice every day. If you have any questions, reach out to myself or any of the other facilitators. And we are here to support you every step of the way. Thank you so much for being here. I want to tune in and see if there's anything else that wants to be said about the tuning forks or auric toning. Remembering sound is your birthright, and no one can tell you how to do this correctly. And posting your video on Monday will invite in encouragement and also any feedback. If there's a place where I or the other facilitators feel like you can lean in a little bit more just to play, just to explore, not to be in the right or the wrong. Remember, all of our feedback is about playing and exploring and growing more, not about writing or wronging your process in any way. This is really about you leaning in and exploring what else is there for you. Within each one of us is a deep cavern of medicine. And sound is an incredible way to go in and excavate that medicine. So my invitation to you is to be in the excavation, be in the exploration, be in the play this week with Auric Tony, and to allow yourself to stretch into this clearing. Now again, remember it can be a clearing, it can be a healing, it can be a refortifying, it can be many different things. We will be sharing pieces of this toning. You will choose one area to tone from for our call, our Zoom circle next week. So please be in the practice, post your video on Monday and come to our Zoom circle next week ready to share. So many blessings on your journey. I love you so very much. Bless, 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 love, love, love. Round one, module two, week four, 1.2.4. Many blessings.